Hello friends. Today we will see some more results on nth order linear difference equations, non-homogeneous as well as homogeneous. In previous lecture, we have seen what is mean by nth order linear difference equation. The equation of the type P n t y t plus n plus p n minus 1 t y t plus n minus 1 plus up to plus p 0 t y t equal to r of t where p 0 and p n not equal to 0 and r t is any function of t also p0 up to p and t are any functions of t. This is called nth order linear difference equation. If this rt equal to 0, then we say that the equation is homogeneous. If it is not equal to 0, then we say that it is non-homogeneous. We also seen that this equation with n initial value condition, the conditions of this type, yk of t plus k equal to y something k or k plus n minus 1. With n such conditions, this initial value problem has unique solution. There exists a unique solution. Moreover, we have seen that if ut is the solution of corresponding homogeneous equation of this equation and yt is the solution of non-homogeneous equation, then ut plus yt is the solution of this whole, general solution of this whole equation. At same, same, in the same way as that of differential equation, complementary function and particular integral. Similarly, we have seen that if u1 and u2, two solutions of corresponding homogeneous equation, then u1 plus u2 is also solution, CU1 plus DU2, it is also solution of corresponding homogeneous equation. Moreover, we have seen the concept of linear dependence and linear independence, right? U1, U2, up to so on UN are said to be linearly independent if C1 U1 plus C2 U2 plus up to plus CN UN equal to 0 implies c1 equal to c2 equal to up to cn equal to 0. Otherwise, this u1 up to un set is called linearly dependent, right? It's called linearly dependent. Otherwise means what? For at least one non-zero c1 up to cn, if this condition is satisfied, then the set is called linearly dependent. We have seen some examples on linearly dependentness and independentness also. What type of examples were there? These were the examples. 2 to the power t, t into 2 to the power t, t square into 2 to the power t. This, these three functions, set of these three functions is linearly independent. We proved it. Then u1 t equal to 2 and u2 t equal to 1 plus cos pi t. These are also linearly independent. But these are linearly independent for t is equal to 1, 2, 3 and dependent for t is equal to this one. That means same two functions may be linearly independent and linearly dependent simultaneously if we change the values of t. Means if we change the domain set. If we change the domain set, then you will get different results. Now, in this next part, we will see what is meant by casualty of matrix, casualty of a matrix, and what is the use of this, okay? In differential equation, we know that the determinant of coefficients, isn't it? We know that if u1 t, u2 t, up to u n t, are n functions or n solutions of differential equation, then this determinant 
u1 t up to un t u1 dash t up to un dash t and so on u1 n minus 1 t up to un n minus 1 t this determinant is called what was this determinant the name for this this we call it we will denote it by delta isn't it this was the determinant we may say that uh, i think i forgot the name for this this is also we have seen there in differential equation that is determinant of coefficient we call uh, sometimes it is a casualty and not it is Vranskian. i think Vranskian, yes Vranskian. right w which is denoted by something w Vranskian of functions isn't it it was there now in the same way here is also Vranskian, but we call it as Cassortian. We call it as Cassortian. Now we will first of all define the matrix of Cassorty. The matrix of Cassorty is given by Wt equal to the matrix whose first row is U1t up to UVNT, second row is U1t plus 1 up to UVNT plus 1, and nth row is U1t plus n minus 1 up to UVN t plus n minus 1. So such a matrix of u1, u2 up to un is called the matrix of casualty, matrix of casualty of n functions u1 up to un, where u1, u2 up to un are some given functions. Okay. The determinant of this matrix denoted by small wt that is determinant of capital WT, it is called Cassortian. It is called Cassortian. That is the concept. Casso matrix of Cassortian and Cassortian. So this is the matrix of Cassorty, And if we take its determinant, then we call it as Cassortian. Now, note that if I take right, WT is equal to, WT is also given by determinant of u1t up to unt delta u1t up to delta uvnt n minus 1th delta u1t up to n minus 1th delta uvnt now this is parallel with differential equation what was there in the differential equation it was un dash u2 dash un dash then u1 n minus 1 u2 n minus 1 up to un n minus 1 there so now derivative is replaced by difference only and that is called Cassortian in place of Vranskian. In place of Vranskian, we call it as Cassortian. Now actually the definition was this one, u1, u1t plus 1 up to u1t plus n minus 1 and you are saying this can be represented uh, re uh, replaced by delta u1t, delta u2t, delta unt and this will be replaced by delta n minus 1 u1t delta n minus 1 u2t delta n minus 1 un t plus n minus 1 okay we'll prove it so for this u1t u2t up to unt now we have we know this is the definition for small wt cassortian curve this is the definition of cassortian right so wt is equal to first row is u1t u2t up to unt right Second row is u1t plus 1, u2t plus 1, up to unt plus 1. And last row is nth row is u1t plus n minus 1, u2t plus n minus 1, up to unt plus n minus 1. Now, in determinant, we know that. We know the property of determinant. Suppose this is your first row, second row, third row. a11, a12, a13, a21, a22, A23, A31, A32, A33. 3 by 3 determinant. We know there are some properties of the determinant. What properties are there? If we interchange rows and columns, right, then the value of determinants remains unchanged. That means what? First row goes to first column, second row goes to second column, third row goes to third column. 
that will not effect on value of this determinant. Then another property was there. If we interchange any two rows or any two columns, then the there will be only change in sign of the value of determinant. Then there will be only change in the sign of the value of determinant. And R1 plus 2R2, if I apply this one, means multiplying second row by 2 and adding to first row. If we apply this operation, then the whole, then the value of this determinant remains unchanged. Value of the determinant remains unchanged. Or R1 minus R2, if I take this one also, or R2 minus R1. If we use these types of operations, then the value of determinant remains unchanged. So by using these properties, we have to show that. So this is our Cassortian. Now what we will do? R2 minus R1, or only lastly, what is the here? U1, T plus, N minus 2. U2, T plus, N minus 2, up to UN, T plus, N minus 1. So which operations you want to make here? Rn minus Rn minus 1, Rn minus 1 minus Rn minus 2, up to so on, R2 minus, Rn, Rn is not there, R2 minus R1, recursively. So, first of all, we will use Rn minus Rn minus 1. That means there will be effect on only nth row. So, all these n minus 1 row remains as it is. There will be no change. And in the nth row, what will happen? U1 t plus n minus 1 minus U1 t plus n minus 2 u1 t plus n minus 1 minus u1 t plus n minus 2. Similarly, now here also, or first, what is u1 t plus 1 minus u1 t? It is delta u1. u2 t plus 1 minus u2 t. It is delta u2 t. un t plus n minus u n t. Delta u n t. Wait a second. Similarly, if we apply recursively, 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 then you will get Delta n minus 1 of u1 t, delta n minus 1 of u t, delta n minus 1 of u n t and so on. So this is the first. Now what will be here? If I take here, this term becomes in the next way, we will get all this becomes delta u, delta. This is delta in the first step, you will get delta u1 t plus n minus uh, u1 t plus n minus 2. Okay. Then this becomes delta u1 t plus n minus 2 and so on. Up to this becomes delta u1 t plus delta u1 t, delta u2 t, delta 3. Then now take difference between this third one and this second one. Delta u1 t plus 2 minus uh, delta u1 t plus 1 minus delta u1 t. It becomes delta square u1 t and so on. So by applying recursively, you will get this one. I will take one a very small calculation here. We'll make a calculation here for convenience. Okay. Suppose we have this one. Which one? U1 T, U2 T, and U3 T. Then this is U1 T plus 1, U2 T plus 1, U3 T plus 1. Then u1 t plus 2, u2 t plus 2, u3 t plus 2. What I will do here? Apply r3 minus r2. What will happen? There will be no change in this u1 t, u2 t, u3 t. u1 t plus 1, u2 t plus 1, u3 t plus 1. And what about this? U1 T plus 1 minus U1 T plus 1. We will get delta U1 T plus 1, delta U2 T plus 1, and delta U3 T plus 1. This determinant. Now I will apply R2 minus R1. What I will apply? R2 minus R1. What will happen? There will be no change in first row. Now, u1 t plus 1 minus u1 t, it is delta u1 t. 
then it is delta u two t, and third one is delta u three t. Then this will remain as it is delta u one t plus one, delta u two t plus one, delta u three t plus one. Correct? Because uh, okay, this will remains as it is. Now, now apply r three minus r two. What will happens? U one t, u two t, u three t. U delta u one t, delta u two t, delta u three t. Now what is this? Delta u one t plus one minus delta u one t. It is delta of u one t plus one minus u one t. That is, it is again delta of u one t, and therefore it becomes delta square. U one t, delta square, u two t, delta square. So if three by three is there, cancel it here. Then two times delta will get. If in the same way, if we take four by four, then you will get four rows, four columns, and last row is of delta cube. If we take five, delta fourth, six, delta fifth, and so on. And therefore, in general. Wt becomes u1t, u2t up to unt, delta u1t, delta u2t up to delta unt, and delta n minus one of u1t, delta n minus one of u2t. Actually, this is u2t, right? And delta n minus one at unt and so. On. Okay, this is near about Cassoltian parallel to Branskian. Branskian it is in differential equation. Cassoltian it is in Difference equation. That is the only thing. Okay. Now we will see how we use or what is the use of this Cassoltian in differential equation. Uh, difference equation. Sorry. In differential equation, there was one result. If we remember the re result, the result is of this type. The solutions, n solutions, u1, u2, up to un, are linearly independent if and only if. Cassoltian of this u1 up to un is not equal to zero. Linearly independent. Or linearly dependent के लिए क्या था? This is if and only if Cassoltian was equal to zero for all values of t. Same result we can prove here also. So that is the necessary and sufficient condition for solutions to become linearly independent. So let u1 t up to u n t. Be the solutions of p n t u t plus n plus up to plus p zero t u t equal to zero for t equal to a a plus one and so on. Then the following statements are equivalent. Number one, the set u one t up to u n t is linearly dependent for t is equal to a a plus one and so on. Small w t that is Cassoltian of u one up to u n t is equal to zero for some t. And W t equal to zero for all values of t. W t equal to zero for all values. These three are equivalent means what? First implies second, second implies third, third implies one. Or equivalent. The meaning of equivalent is what is the meaning of equivalent? This number one implies number two, number two implies number three, and number three again implies number one. Either you use this one or one double implies two, two double implies three, and three double implies one. In both way, you can show these three statement are equivalent. Same result is there. Same result was in differential equation. The solutions u one t up to u n t are linearly dependent if and only if. Branski n equal to zero for all values of t. Okay, if and only if. Now we know that these two are equivalent. Obviously, w t equal to zero for some t implies w t equal to zero for all t. Conversely, w t equal to zero for all t implies w t equal to zero for some values of t. Otherwise, it not holds because it is the determinant. There. It is the determinant. There. So in short, we will show that. First, suppose that u one t up to u n t are linearly dependent. That means you are considering this one. This set is linearly 
dependent. We will show that directly this one wt equal to 0 for all values of t. And then second time, so we will consider wt equal to 0 for all values of t implies the set is linearly dependent. The set is linearly dependent. First, suppose that u1 t up to u n t are linearly dependent. Then there are constants c1 up to cn, not all zero, such that c1 ut, actually here u1 t, plus c2 u2 t, plus up to plus cn u n t equal to zero. Right? By using definition, it is there. So what is the definition of linearly dependent? When we say that u1 t up to u n t are linearly dependent, if there exists some constants c1 up to cn, at least one of which is not zero and satisfying this condition. Now, once you know that this is for all t, this is for all t, right? Now, if this satisfies for all t, then if I replace t by t plus 1, then also it must be satisfied, isn't it? So therefore, c1 u1 t plus 1 plus c2 u2 t plus 1 plus up to plus c n u n t plus 1 should be equal to 0, isn't it? Because this holds for all values of t. Now, in the same way, c1 u1 t plus n minus 1 plus c2 u2 t plus n minus 1 plus up to plus c n u n t plus n minus 1, this is also equal to 0, right? As this holds for all values of t, therefore, we can use or we can see these three or these n equations. These n equations we can take it, okay? n equations we can take it, okay? Now, for all t is equal to a, a plus 1 and so on, for all t, no doubt. Since this system, this is the homogeneous system, these are the n equations in n unknowns we call. What unknowns we will consider? C1 up to Cn unknowns we will consider it. So this is the homogeneous system, right? Having n constants or n unknowns, C1 up to Cn, whose value can be find out, okay? So since this system has a, now this is a system, homogeneous system, nth order homogeneous system, having n equations and n variables c1 up to cn moreover right since this system has a non-trivial solution why non-trivial solution therefore the determinant of the matrix of coefficient wt is 0 for t is equal to a to a plus now in very first line we have taken these are all not equal to 0 these are not all equal to 0 means what c all c1 up to cn are not equal to 0 that means what? The value of C1 up to Cn is non-trivial. So this system has non-trivial solution because of this one, right? We know that if homogeneous system has a non-trivial solution, then if we take Castle, means determinant of coefficient of this system. What is the determinant of coefficient of this system? If we want to find the determinant of coefficient, then it becomes U1, u2 up to u n first row and so on u1 t plus n minus 1 up to u n t plus n minus 1. This is the determinant of coefficient. If this system has a non-trivial solution means non-zero solution then the determinant of coefficient must be equal to 0. This is the result. Determinant of coefficient must be equal to 0. For example, I will give you one example. Suppose 2C1 plus 3C2 equal to 0, 4C1 plus 6C2 equal to 0. What, which is the solution for this? Can we say this solution? We can say that C1 equal to 3 and C2 equal to minus 2 is the solution of this homogeneous system. Is it right? C1 equal to 3, C2 equal to minus 2. Because these two, because of these two, both the equations are satisfied. So as this system of homogeneous system has a non-trivial solution, and if we find the determinant of coefficients, 2, 3, 4, 6. See here, what is it? 12 minus 12. Always going to be 0. So we know the result. The homogeneous system 
has a non-trivial solution if and only if its determinant of coefficient is zero. And the homogeneous system has a trivial solution, means zero solution is the only solution, if and only if the determinant of coefficient is non-zero. For example, I will take 2C1 plus 3C2 equal to zero and 3C1 plus 4C2 equal to zero. If I want to find the solution of this, the only C1 equal to zero and C2 equal to zero satisfies these two equations. And in that case, if I find determinant 8 minus 9, which is minus 1, not equal to zero. So result is that if any homogeneous system of equations has a non-trivial solution, then the determinant of coefficients is equal to zero. And if it has only zero solution, then the determinant of coefficient is not equal to zero. So since the system has non-trivial solution, so determinant of coefficient, which is Cassortian, is equal to zero for t equal to a, a plus one and so on. That is wt equal to zero for all values of t. wt equal to zero for all values of t. Okay. Conversely, we suppose that wt is equal to zero for all values of t. That means there is one value t equal to t zero at which it should be going to be zero. That is at some t, t at some t also it is equal to zero. So conversely, we will suppose that let there is a one term t zero at which castle tn is equal to zero. Then there are constants c1 up to cn, not all zero such that this condition is satisfied. C1 u1 at t0 plus C2 ut at t0 up to Cn un at t0 equal to 0. C1 u1 at t0 plus 1, C2 ut at t0 plus 1 up to Cn un at t0 plus 1 equal to 0. And this is the nth equation. C1 u1 at t0 plus n minus 1 plus C2 u2 at t0 plus n minus 1 plus up to plus Cn un at t0 plus n minus 1 equal to 0. So what we are saying? If Cassortian at t0 equal to 0, that means we are considering the determinant of coefficient of this homogeneous system is equal to 0, is equal to 0, then this system has non-trivial solution. Means, non-trivial solution means what? There is at least one C1 up to Cn, which is non-zero. There is at least one C1 up to Cn, which is not zero. That means there are constants C1 up to Cn, not all zero, but satisfies this equation. Okay. Now let ut is equal to C1 u1t plus C2 u2t up to Cn unt. Therefore, L of ut is equal to C1 L of u1, C2 L of u2 up to Cn L of un. But we know that as u1, u2 up to un are the solutions of that corresponding homogeneous equation. So L of UVN is zero, L of U2 is zero up to L of UVN is also zero. So this is also equal to zero. Therefore, L of UT is zero. L of UT is zero means what? This will be the C1 U1T plus C2 U2T up to Cn UNT must be the solution of that corresponding homogeneous equation. That is, this is the solution of corresponding homogeneous equation. And moreover, the value of u at t0 is 0, value of u at t0 plus 1 is also 0, value of, value of u at t0 plus n minus 1 is also equal to 0. That means what? t0 per b value 0, hai. t0 plus 1 per b 0, hai. t0 plus n minus 1 per b 0. This is the n, n conditions. Harek pe value 0 are. Right? And this is the, so u at t0, if I put t equal to t0, u at t0 is 0, u at t0 plus 1 is 0 where t0 plus n minus 1 is also equal to 0. So if I replace t by t0, t by t0 plus 1, t by t0 plus 2 up to t by t0 plus n minus 1, this is everything going to 0. And this may be sub 0 because u1 t, c1 u1 t, t0 plus c2 u2 t0, cn u1 t0, it is 0. So everything is going 0. That is ut equal to 0. So hence ut equal to 0 for all values of t. And thus, if ut equal to 0 for all values of t, then u1t up to unt is linearly dependent. Why? Because u1, what is ut? ut is c1 u1 plus c2 u2 up to cn un equal to 0, where 
all c1 c2 up to c1 are not equal to 0 and this is the definition of linearly dependent this is the definition of linearly dependent so what we proved we proved that this set is linearly dependent so in both way you proved the set is linearly independent then you proved wt equal to 0 for all values of t that is kessler t in 0 and in other way if kessler t equal to 0 then we prove that the set is linear the set is linearly dependent in both way we proved it so the result holds okay now the next result which is again parallel to result in differential equation let u and t up to u and t are independent solutions of equation p and t u t plus n plus p n minus 1 t u t plus n minus 1 plus up to plus p 0 t u t equal to 0. Then every solution u t of above equation can be written in the form u t equal to c1 u1 plus c2 u t u2 plus up to plus c n u n for some constant c1 c2 up to c n. Is it parallel to differential equation? Result in differential equation. We know that if u1 t and u2 t, if u1 t and u2 t are two linearly independent solutions of second order homogeneous differential equation, then c1 u1 t plus c2 u2 t is also solution of the same equation or its a solution can be written in this way we already proved it so here we want to prove in we want to prove in what we can say that uh, difference equation also so if u1 up to un are n linearly independent solutions of this homogeneous difference equation linear difference equation then its a solution can be written as u of t general solution can be written as u of t equal to c1 u1 t plus up to plus c n u n t for some constant c1 c2 up to c n proof is again very simple let u2 be a solution of p n t u t plus n plus up to plus p0 t u of t equal to 0 number one since u1 t up to u n t are linearly independent solutions of one therefore linear independent either, Castor t should not be equal to 0 for all values of t that is t that is for t equal to neither a a plus 1 up to so on so if Castor t is not equal to 0 that means determinant of coefficient of this one non homogeneous system has a unique solution Castor t in 0 nahi that means what if we consider these n solutions c1 u1 at a plus up to plus c n u n at a equal to something u at a right up to so on c1 u1 at a plus n minus 1 plus c n u n at a plus n minus 1 equal to u at a plus n minus 1 as the determinant of this coefficient is casortian and at t equal to a it is not equal to 0 other non-homogeneous system ka determinant of coefficient non-zero hai then that system has a unique solution. If the determinant of coefficient of homogeneous system is not equal to zero, then it has only one solution and zero solution is the only solution of that system. While if the system is non-homogeneous and the determinant of coefficient is not equal to zero, then that system has a unique solution C1 up to Cn. So this is a system, n system of n equations in n variables, and the variables are c1 up to cn. So it has must has unique solution c1 up to cn. Since the solution of equation one is uniquely determined by its values at t is equal to a a plus one up to a plus n minus one. So we must have u t is equal to c1 u1 t plus up to plus cn u n t for all values of t. So unique solution. Okay, as it is unique solution, ut can be expressed in this way. C1 u1. Because already we have seen if u1 t up to u n t are the solutions of homogeneous equation, then c1 u1 t up to c n u n t are also solutions of same equation, isn't it? And if I consider it as equal to t, and as this is unique solution, therefore ut must have to be written in this way: c1 u1 t 
plus of 2 plus C n U n T. Okay. For example, the equation U of T plus 3 minus 6 U of T plus 2 plus 11 U of T plus 1 minus 6 U T equal to 0 has solution 2 to the power T, 3 to the power T1 for all values of T. What we want to show that? Yet we have not described any method which solves general linear equation or difference equation. Now, what is the example here? We have to show that these three are the solutions of this equation. How we can prove it? We can prove by using a verify method. When we say that 2 to the power t is the solution of this one, if 2 to the power t satisfies this one, similarly 3 to the power t and similarly 1. Okay. And we want to show that they are linearly independent also. Actually, this equation has the solution for all values. Okay. And we have to show. Okay. So we know that this has a solution and it's a Cassortian we found and we shown that these three are the linearly independent. Now can we say that these are the these three are the solutions of this equation? Have you found it before? Okay, if not, I will check it. First of all, by 2 to the power t. If u t equal to 2 to the power t, what is u t plus 1? It is 2 to the power t plus 1 means 2 into 2 to the power t. What is u t plus 2? It is 2 to the power t plus 2 means 4 into 2 to the power t. And what is u t plus 3? It is 2 to the power t plus 3. That is 8 into 2 to the power t. Now, u of t plus 3 means 8 into 2 to the power t. 8 into 2 to the power t minus 6 into u of t plus 2. 4 into 2 to the power t plus 11 into u of t plus 1. 2 into 2 to the power t minus 6 into 2 to the power t equal to. Right? What will happen? This 8, 8 into 2 to the power t minus 24 into 2 to the power t plus 22 into 2 to the power t minus 6 into 2 to the power t. What will happen? 8 plus 22, 30 minus 24 minus 6 minus 30 equal to 0. So 2 to the power t satisfies this equation. Right? And therefore, 2 to the power t is the solution of this. Similarly, you can verify that 3 to the power t satisfies this equation and 1 also satisfies this equation. How 1? If I take ut equal to 1, u2 plus 1 also equal to 1, ut plus 2 also equal to 1, ut plus 3 also equal to 1. So 1 minus 6 plus 11 minus 6. Minus 6 minus 6 minus 12 plus 11 plus 1 plus 12. By that also equation is satisfied. Now if we find the casualty of these three, these three, 2 to the power t, 3 to the power t, 1, 2 to the power t, 2 into 3 to the power t, 0, 2 to the power t, 4 into t to the power t, and 0. Isn't it? So what is Cassortian actually? One minute. Here it is u of t plus 1. Isn't it? Or delta ut. We know that delta ut is what? 2 to the power, a to, delta of a to the power t is what? Delta of a to the power t. It is what? a minus 1 into a to the power t. This is the delta, a minus 1 into a to the power t. So delta of 2 to the power t is what? 1 into 2 to the power t. And it's again delta, 1 into t to the power t. 3 to the power t ka delta, a minus 1. 2 mi 3 minus 1 is 2, 2 into 3 to the power t. Uska or ek bar delta, 4 into 3 to the power t. Delta of 1 is 0, and its so delta is again 0. And if we find determinant of this, you will get, right? 1 into this, rows, uh, I will take 2 to the power t common, isn't it? Then 3 to the power t common, and you will get only, if I take 2 to the power t common from first, 3 to the power t common from second, you will get 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, 4, and 1, 0, 0. It is like that. 
So it's a determinant is of this type. That means you are taking one into this determinant, right? And it is two into six to the power t, which is not equal to zero for all for any value of t. That means so its branch chain is not equal to zero. Thus, this is the set two to the power t, three to the power t one, which is the solution of which are the solutions of this homogeneous equation, and its branch its casualty is not equal to zero. Therefore, these these are the linearly independent solutions, and all solutions of equations have the form solutions of equation have the form u t equal to c one two to the power t plus c two three to the power t plus c three okay plus c three. So in this way, we have used the now Cassortian here in place of Fransian in differential equation. So we can use the Cassortian in place of Fransian in the differential. Equation. So in difference equation, there is a Cassortian. In differential equation, there is a Wronskian. Both plays a parallel rows. One in differential equation, other in difference equation. For today, we'll stop here, and the remaining part we'll see in next lecture.